here at the Romantic Garden Nurseries. They are growing some of the trees for us and I'm standing in front of these amazing beech trees and these are very similar to the trees that we're looking for. We've got this large glass platform, a huge sheet of glass which you can actually walk on the top and because you've got the wires and we want to make the platform not pretty much invisible but just get the benefits from it, if we have trees like this which actually go all the way around the wires then it will make the garden look very horticultural and then you'll get that amazing surprise element to see you can actually walk up on this platform. John, these look really nice. You've only just planted them up recently. Literally a few days ago, mm -hmm. so uh, there's a long way to go. It's a Bux of Sempervirens, which is the common uh, species of uh, box. But like a lot of things, the more you trim the plant, the, the smaller the leaf becomes. So um, at the moment they look quite large and uh, there's one or two gaps, but by trimming over the next two or three months, they, the gaps will fill in and the leaves will actually look a little smaller and the whole thing will knit together to make a really perfect, sharp-edged, flat-topped um, piece of hedge. So you've got the shape exactly, isn't it? This, this special shape. Yes, the, the box has been specially made uh, from your dimensions. We'll cut the stone steps, the stone steps curve, and these will be cut to computer-generated mm -hmm. layout, so they'll be absolutely they should the fit right in shape. They'll fit in. Yes, yeah. Brilliant. We'll have the nice, one of your nice big U balls probably at the end. Yeah, a nice big Texas ball. Slight, mm. Slightly different texture and a darker green. I think mm. would uh, I think the two would go together very well. When you actually grow plants for Chelsea, it's much more difficult than growing them in normal gardens because you've got that upheaval. They've got to come on site maybe a week before the 24th or two weeks before, and they've got to look in pitch perfect shape. And often they're very mature, so they've been lifted up, maybe they've been burned in Holland or Italy, and then they're brought over. And then you've got to get them into leaf and look really healthy. So they need water, they need pruning, they need, you need to check. You haven't got massive outbreaks of white fly or scale insect, which they can do when they're being closeted. And, and then when you actually transport them, you imagine taking 20 trees like this into London. I mean, I remember one year when Arabella Lennox Boyd brought over some olives from Italy and the, the vehicle went off the road and was in the ditch for two days. And when they wheeled the olives out, they looked really sad. But, you know, you, all these sort of things can happen and you always worry until they're looking perfect in, in where you want them to be.